Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, first question will come from Rick Stroud. Hey, Tom, um, you've been part of a lot of comebacks, to say the least, but uh, what, what made this one possible, do you think, for the guys? Well, I was pretty uh, – we put ourselves in a pretty good hole, and uh, just we're going to have to dig our way out of it. And that's just the way football works sometimes. And um, just got to tighten some things up. Uh, glad we came back. Defense made a big play for us for the end of half. And that got us, uh, you know, ignited a little bit. And then we made some plays in the third quarter, made some good plays in the fourth quarter. So finish it, start the game well, finish the game well. We just, that middle part, we got to figure out how to play 60 minutes well. Next question will be from Greg, Greg Allman. Hey, Tom, obviously the, the downfield passing opened up in the second half. It seemed like it was mostly dump offs there in the first half when you were able to get people. Anything change or is that something they did defensively that, that set things up for you in the second half? Yeah, we got to do a good job, you know, forcing them to cover everything. And, you know, the passing got a little compressed. And then, you know, we made some plays down the field and that opened some things up. So it's a uh, – you got to make them defend everything. And uh, that was just – uh, you know, a good way for us to do some things there in the second half, and we're going to have to keep doing it. Next question will come from Jenna Lane. Hey, Tom. Um, I know uh, it, it seemed like you had um, trouble on a similar concept to what you had with, with the double out uh, targeting Jay Watt here. It seemed like that was kind of similar to the, the interception against New Orleans. Is there something about that particular throw? And, again, I know it was on the other side of the field and everything. Um, but is there something about that particular throw that's maybe given you and Jay Watt uh, more trouble or, or something that you can do to improve it? Just execution. Mm -hmm. Just got to execute better. That's all it comes down Next to. Next question will come from Scott Reynolds. Tom, can you talk about the day that O.J. Howard was having catching the touchdown pass from you? And, and uh, Bruce said that you guys have probably lost him for the year with the, an Achilles tendon injury. Can you – Speak to that injury and the impact it has. It's a tough injury, and um, I think everyone feels for, for OJ and uh, what his commitment's been to the team through uh, you know, the offseason, training camp. Um, he's just been a great player for us, and uh, you know it sucks to, to lose him. So it's a tough injury. Next question will be from Sam Farmer. Hey, Tom, I, I wonder what your impressions of, of Justin Herbert were. And apparently he had never met you, but he grew up idolizing you and had talked to you on the phone a couple of times. I wonder if you remember that. Yeah, it was, uh, he was very impressive today and he played great. I mean, our defense played great all year and uh, he hung in there, made a lot of good throws. They hit us on some big plays. We blitzed him a little bit and he just stood in there and took it. He's got obviously all the ability. He's got a great arm and um, moves really well. You know, the team believes in him. So he's off to a great start. We have time for a couple more. We'll go to Greg Amen. Hey, Tom, that last touchdown to, to throw that to a rookie and Keyshawn Vaughn really playing his first NFL offensive snaps today. Just want to ask about the confidence you have to throw to him in such a big situation. Yeah, we got to keep building a lot of confidence in one another because it's not, you know, there's nothing we're doing out there that's perfect. Um, but we're going to have to keep building on the good things and learn from the bad things. And then, uh, you know, happy he caught it, happy he got in. You know, a lot of guys stepped up and made a lot of big plays today. And we're going to have to keep it going. Last few questions will go to Ed and Cena, and then we'll follow with Justin Granite. Hey, Tom. Uh, the, the, you know, a lot of guys have to contribute over the course of the season. You know, when you see a guy like Keyshawn Vaughn contribute down down the stretch, with, with and especially with that play, the way he got into the end zone, uh, what does that say about just, you know, how you need so many different guys in this? It's good. You know, it's a long season, and we're 25% of the way through. So it's not early anymore. You know, we have a decent sample size. we got to figure out what we're good at, what we're not good at, and keep working to get better. And uh, the guys that haven't had much of a role got to – find a way to find a role for themselves and the guys that have got to keep improving it and increasing it. And I, I know we have a lot of playmakers out there, but we got to continue to gain trust in one another, become more dependable and consistent and ultimately play, you know, well for 60 minutes and see what it looks like if we can do that. Thank you guys. Have a great day.